Hello everybody, my name is Eric and today we're going to be talking about an update on the Roblox malware because the situation with that has gotten a lot worse. Uh, this is depraved is the only way I could really describe it. It's so twisty and turny, it is one of the... It, may very well be one of the weirdest uh, stories I have done, definitely in MUN. Uh, so we learned a couple of things. First of all, while it wasn't the initial submitter, after I posted the video, one of the people involved in this operation decided to join my Discord and claim that they were a victim with the intention of uh, getting me to post another video, which I am doing because this is genuinely a really bad issue, so I don't, you know, if, if they want to be famous, fine, I, I'll cooperate, but uh, we are going to talk about this. And they were posting videos, they claimed, they, they were claiming these videos uh, were themselves, but they, they were other people, and I could kind of tell because the guy posted videos of a bunch of laptops of different manufacturers, and I could pretty easily tell this was probably not the same victim in each of them. And there were some other uh, things, like the fact the Discord account was created the same day. Uh, so yeah, that's an interesting thing going on. The other thing I was made aware of is the fact that the main distribution method for this, and it seems like they reached a few hundred people, unfortunately, was through malicious Discord messages. Remember, do not, if you get a random Discord message, doesn't matter who it is, doesn't matter if it's your best friend, and they tell you to go download a software, it's legit, it's free, uh, usually it'll look pretty spammy, and it'll probably be a canned message. It might have your username, but it probably won't have anything personal. You see something like that. What you need to do is ignore it, report it. Uh, do not, never, ever do anything from a mass Discord message. That is not a legitimate marketing. You get that, whether it's in your message request, your friend. Uh, if it's your friend, I would try contact them somewhere else and just see, look, uh, your system may have been compromised. Uh, you should You should lock everything down right now. What is this exactly? Well, this is the final payload, because I didn't get to this part. I just, I mostly, because it took a while to get through the dropper, but this is the ultimate uh, payload, and this is a not, uh, all you need is 7-zip to go into the resources and I'll see, and I'll see data, and you will get a massive pile of bytecode. Uh, don't know how they kept that under wraps for so long, but not as great of an obfuscator as it seemed like. So we can go through this and we can get a decent idea. Now some of this is bytecode, some of this is source code. Now this is a Python rat. Now it's actually not a Discord webhook. Uh, my, my bad for uh, saying it was a Discord webhook. This is actually using Telegram. We can find that out pretty easily. Uh, but uh, that was one thing that was mentioned. There is plenty of Discord stuff in here though. Uh, th there's also some stuff from libraries about taking images. Now this one is one of the things they do. Uh, they got this anti-piracy. So these are the commands. This is what the Discord or Telegram bot does. I'm used to PySylon, so that's why I'm calling this. Uh, so we got update, UAC bypass. If we don't have admin, the user is admin, help. Download and execute in exe. Okay. Type message, process list, process kill is admin. Monitor on, monitor off, max volume. A lot of the things here beyond the steel functionality uh, are very much designed to strike maximum fear and torture their victims. You can get the King Vong anti-piracy screen, invert screen colors, return to normal. Uh, I got footage of that, uh, actually courtesy of the developers who thought this was so cool they wanted to show it off. Uh, no thank you. Uh, we got create multiple invisible windows, shake, block the mouse, reverse the mouse. I've, had, I've actually experienced that one live before. Random brightness. Um, CD eject, uh, open notepad, draw mouse, keyboard toggle, disco, uh, okay. And then, uh, there are all the very bad commands. So these are dangerous, uh, this calculator, uh, this encrypts your file. So that's where that screen of the ransomware comes up, then run the steel. Now here is how, here's, um, the destroyed my computer. Uh, my understanding is when they say motherboard, uh, they, they purely mean, because uh, he, he tried claiming, and this was another thing that I knew wasn't quite true, that he had to, uh, that our, our, had to go to a shop and get a new hard drive. No, you wouldn't have to do that. You would have to reinstall Windows, um, depending on how bad the damage is, because uh, here we go, this is the other one. So he's both doing the same thing, uh, but differently, and this could actually be like a MEMS thing. So this, uh, so how do you recover from this? Well, depending on which one they used, you may be able to get back in business with a simple, I uh, will go over there. You may be able to get this fixed um, with just a simple rebuild BCD. I will actually include a link in the description to this. So where is this active right now? Well, uh, they renamed from, 
exanisploit to axel, axisploit, I guess is how we'd say this. And this file has been up, but because the dropper connects to a paste bin, they can actually swap that. Then the dropper downloads an encrypted file. Now the dropper is written, that's the thing you get here, is written in something called Deno, and it's just, it's like Node.js, but it's written in Rust, which in theory should make it more difficult uh, to extract, but I found a way around that very quickly. Um, I actually uh, just got GPT to make a script. Once I figured out the trick, uh, you just take everything off the padding. It's not compressed or encrypted. That part is really straightforward. Uh, then we get a Noitka exe, and then we just have to use 7-zip, and then we can just open this in a text editor, and then we've got uh, the master payload. So here's where the anti-piracy screen comes from. Uh, the other thing you can see is from the language, you can get an idea of where these people are based. And here is more of the anti-analysis and stealing functions. We've got remote debugger, is debugger present, graphics card indicates. So they've really gone all out on trying to stop this from running it in a dynamic analysis. Also a bunch of library code in here. Now this payload is nasty. You can go deep through it, find a bunch of things, the commands. Uh, someone in my Discord also, after modifying it so that it willingly runs in an analysis environment, uh, also determined that it injects Discord as another path of persistence. It is a really, really uh, persistent and nasty thing. So realistically, what should you do if you have gotten infected by this? Well, really, the only thing you can do is reinstall Windows. Even if the system has somewhat survived, this thing hides in all sorts of places. So you want to reinstall Windows, get rid of it that way, um, don't, genuinely, like, not because I, I, just don't cheat on Roblox. That's, like, the best answer here, because there's so much horrible uh, malware going around pretending to be cheats for Roblox. So that's a really good way of solving this. Don't, yeah, don't uh, be running this stuff. And we have gotten, the, the Discord is now terminated. Uh, I have reported this GitHub. I don't know how long it'll be up. Uh, the Telegram they're using to control it, also gone and a bunch of other stuff is also gone now. Um, we are, there is progress being made, but I think there's a bigger motive here, given that there was an attempt of uh, trying to get me to cover it again. I think they may also be interested in marketing this as a malware as a service. And to counter their desire of using me as a marketing tool, I will just point out that while this is a well-made product and we can see how detected it is today like they, they have definitely the development here is competent i will give them that but the uh, all these claims about undetection are true today but if this becomes popular they will not last there is nothing difficult to detect in the system the dropper is a pretty simple piece of code now, unfortunately what will probably happen is every uh, dano app is going to get detected. So the story gets even weirder because after I recorded the first part of this, uh, the actual developer uh, who goes by Young AOS joined the server and uh, gave some clarification saying that uh, no, in fact, there is no, he, he's not trying to, he, he says he doesn't want more attention for his thing. I don't really know what the other guy was playing at then. Uh, the two are known to each other, but uh, doesn't it kind of roasted the other guy so i i don't know it's just a weird situation uh weirdest um malware developer dynamic i've really ever covered yeah i, I don't know what really what else to say do not download this do not do not download anything marketed as a roblox cheat it's just not worth it um if your system doesn't boot anymore you you're going to have to reinstall Windows because the nuke function has just eliminated a large chunk of your hard drive. It injects Discord. It is injecting... It's got auto-run. Uh, it's an absolute nightmare to get rid of. So my advice is if you ran this, uh, reinstall Windows, change absolutely every single password, uh, all credentials tied to anything you've used on that computer. If there were credit cards on that computer, you got to get those cancelled because those have probably been stolen uh, in addition to the fact that because it functions as a rat they could peruse around and see anything else of interest even if it wasn't caught by the stealer what a nasty piece of work so that is going to be all for this video uh, please do let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it bye